Hi everyone! Welcome to one of my favorite videos to film. It is my updated Louis Vuitton collection. Yes, it is that time of the year yet again. I had waited all year to film this video. I am so excited and I had waited especially because I knew that towards the end of the year I'd be adding a lot of new items so I figured might as well wait for that. I have purchased probably at least 10 new items in the past two months so I'm so excited to show you all of my lovely item so let's get straight into today's video so if you're new here my name is linda and i do post about fashion so if you're into that sort of thing do consider subscribing to my channel so we could be friends and if you are a repeat watcher then thank you so much and let's just go straight into these items so i have been collecting louis vuitton items since about 2016 i want to say i have a total of let's we could round it to 40 i think I've, I've owned or i've had 39 items um i've sold i want to say four and so that leaves me with about 35 now something like that like i'm just kind of ballparking around there but most of this is handbags because that's just what i'm into so let's start with one of the most popular bags and also one of my newest which is the pochette matisse Oh, also I want to say I'm not going to go uh, too in-depth with each bag because then this video would be like five hours long and like several hours to edit. So I'm just going to try to just quickly go through all the bags for you guys so you can stay tuned. <laughs> so item number one is the Pochette Matisse. This is in the reverse monogram. I just bought this bag when I was in Italy. I was in Capri and so I saw it and I was like, you know what? Yes, have to have it. So I bought that one there. And it's my very first reverse monogram item. There's the interior. It's black interior. It's like a suede. And also, I bought these inserts. They are from, I believe these are from Etsy. And they're perfect if you just want to protect your bag. I don't usually carry makeup around, so I don't typically tend to stain my bags. But just in case, since this is a very popular bag, in case I ever want to sell it in the future, I did buy the little inserts for it and a pretty spacious bag it has this back pocket this compartment this compartment and then it has a back zipper which i just have a bunch of random things in and oh i found money yay also i must say i have made such a mess in my room trying to gather all of these items and i'm going to try to like not miss anything hopefully i don't so uh i'm gonna try to stay on track here all right the next item would be it's the men's toiletry bag i'll just say that i forget the exact name of it dop kit or something and i like this one because it opens up like this i got this bag this well toiletry bag in colombia and i have already used it since i've traveled a few more times since then it has a inside zipper compartment i just love the way it opens up it's different from the way the women's is so i just really like that about it and i got it in this print which is the monogram eclipse i believe right yeah sometimes like like i know everything when i'm not filming and then the camera turns on and my mind is like so anyway, on to the next item. This is a bag that I think people laugh at when I say this, but it's my party bag. It is the Kabas Roseberry or Roseberry Kabas and oh, it's heavy. I just wanted to show you, this is the party that I typically take, the party, the bag that I take to parties because you can fit wine bottles and a baguette if you wanted to in there, which is what I usually do for New Year's. So there would be like a baguette sticking out from one side, bottle of wine from the other, and then all my items inside like cards against humanity or whatever card games like in the middle here oh that was loud and so i just wanted to show you with props and everything and it's still look how much this fits Ugh, like kind of heavy so it does fit a lot and it has that in i am so sorry that is so loud it has that interior red lining it has two top handles it also comes with the long strap right here and this bag i just have beat this bag up so much you can tell i definitely do not baby her and she's very sturdy mint condition i would say i don't see any signs of use i just had to put that one down okay next item is also a new item but i cannot believe how much use i have already gotten out of this one it is the new neverfull 
in the Emprunt in the cognac color. I love this bag. I can't believe I even hesitated when they showed it to me. So I was in Italy, this was October, and my mom found this exact bag in black at that Louis. And they said it's the only black one we have. And I was like, great, of course. Like, I wanted a black one because I just feel like it's so universal. Like, it'll match everything. And so they said, no, we don't, but we do have two other colors. And they had a light beige and this one. And I looked at it and I was like, don't buy something just because you feel like you have to buy it. You know, like I felt like maybe I was settling, but then I thought about it. And one of the bags I've been chasing the most is the Fendi Peekaboo Large in the cognac color with the whip stitch design. And I realized this bag is much more practical. It looks like it, it's about the same size, it was also going to be a travel bag for me, but the peekaboo is a lot heavier. So this bag is, in my opinion, much, much better for travel, and it fits so much. I did also go ahead and buy the insert for it from, it's the organizer, from Etsy, and it's the matching color. Here is the actual pouch that it comes with. Very, very cute. And then the insert right here, the organizer, has all these zipper compartments. The bag weighs like nothing, even with, sorry if my dogs bark, even with the organizer, it still weighs like nothing. So I have been beating this bag up lately. It has gone on at least, I want to say, four or five trips since October. So just to show you, and I mean, those are just trips. I've also been taking this to work. The only bad thing is, is I did fold it up so you can kind of see a crease, but I'm sure that'll come right out. So I'm not too worried about it at all. Also, I did order um, the organizer that goes all the way to the top because some people were saying that where it sags, it might leave another mark up here. And even though that hasn't happened to me yet, just to be safe, I'm buying the longer insert. So that way I can just kind of pick and choose when to do it or store it with the longer one so I don't have that, that issue if that were to actually become an issue. But this is one of my most used bags of the moment and it is absolutely a stunner. Okay, next we've got the multi pochette accessoire. I also just bought this bag in Italy. Um, I was not going to fall into that trend. I said, no, you know what? Everyone and their mothers has this one. But I was like, there's a reason why. And I thought about it and I did the math. And if you buy each of these items individually, it's so much more. It was like at least a grand more for a strap like this than for the round, the like key pouch or whatever coin pouch and then for this size that one every single thing would add up to so much more if you bought it separately so I was like let me buy it and then at least everything comes undone I can use this strap with other bags so I just it felt like a win-win for me to get this one and I'll show you inside I've only worn this one once I think the only thing is I feel like it's kind of noisy sometimes but honestly that's not too bad of a problem and then here's a little coin pouch. I just have it stuffed with these that came with it. I believe they came with it. So very cute bag. Um, everyone says it's good for the airport, but I just like I've just been loving the Neverfull instead, which this fits perfectly in there anyway. So you can take both. Next, I have a card holder. This is my current favorite and most used one. It's from the Men's Collection, and I'm obsessed. It's in this gunmetal color, and wow, it fits so much. It's also got a zipper compartment, and honestly, I think everyone should just take a look in the men's collection. You don't know what's there. Like, I went in there not really expecting much, and I couldn't believe how much I liked. This is my absolute favorite card holder of the moment. I've been, I only took my things out of it to show you guys, but I'm obsessed with it. I'm going to fill it right back up. Okay, next we've got the what is this one called i forgot oh the south bank the sauce something like that uh this one's one of my more affordable louis i was surprised i bought this one in france a few years ago and i think it was like a thousand euros at the time which for louis is not that bad 
it has gone up in price now but not by too too much i find it very practical i like this one for everyday errands because it does fit a lot so if i'm just going to go to the mall i like the fact that i can throw like a water bottle in here just like a bunch of random things mail like if i'm going to the post office for something it fits a lot even though it's like a very thin looking bag even just this front pocket fits a lot so i love it it has this little tassel that you can take off if you don't want it or leave it on and some people put like their scrunchie right here a little hair tie that way it stays intact but i haven't had that issue and i don't keep anything on it has that nice long crossbody strap that is adjustable so this is an overall good bag i've seen a, actually a lot of people with it on the street this it's very practical for errands next is one of my other most used bags of the moment like an everyday one it's the men's collection bum bag in the reverse no not reverse in the monogram eclipse i love this so much i this is another one that i hesitated when the sales associate took it out i was like i don't know and then i was like you know what don't be dumb like this is gonna go up in price and you're gonna never have had a bum bag because they currently don't have the women's ones available at louis they're discontinued for now i'm pretty sure they're gonna come back out with it or a different version of it but this was there and so i got it this is the only one that they had. I saw later on that they had these in Ampront as well, which I would have liked. But this is honestly really, really nice also. Um, it's very comfortable. It fits quite a bit of things in there, surprisingly. The zipper is just buttery. Um, it has a back zip pocket, which I love. Little extra pockets. Adjustable straps. So I've never actually worn this as a bum bag. I just use it crossbody. I just find that that works better for me and honestly I've been loving it to death that's why it's one of my current most used bags and I just got this one also in October in Colombia next we've got oh right behind me the speedy 25 bandolier I can't believe I hadn't shown you guys that I got this bag I almost forgot I haven't worn it yet so this is it very very cute um I've had three speedies at least i sold the 30 because it was just too big for me and i didn't feel like i was using it enough so i sold that one and now i have the speedy 25 and with the bandolier i didn't think i would want a bandolier that bad when i bought the speedy the first time and let me tell you i really really like it and i feel like i'm going to use it so much more with the band with the the straps so get the speedy b i think anyway just i was it's not even so much that I was saving money. I just really didn't think I needed it, but I really did. So I'm so glad I got that. Also behind me, we have a key ball. This is new. I got two key balls. I have used this at least three times since I bought it as well. This one and the Neverfull when I've been traveling and I absolutely love it. It does start to get a little bit heavy between the Neverfull and this because I had it all stuffed. But right now, all it has is dust bags. I was contemplating getting an organizer for it just so it helps keep its shape, but I don't really care. I feel like this is such a sturdy, durable bag. Um, I love, love, love it. Also, from the men's collection, it has its um, little tag there and came with lock, key, which I actually use. I never thought I would, but I ended up... Um, leaving all my things at the hotel because my flight was so much later and this bag was filled to the rim with so many other brand new purchases from uh fendi ysl all kinds of things and i just felt a little bit safer at least putting the lock and key up the, i had the key on me obviously and then the lock was on there i i was just surprised i actually used it finally but yeah love 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 this one what else is behind me? I think those are the only ones that were behind me. I did also go ahead and buy it in the monogram. And I have never used the monogram one. Also bought it in October in Italy, uh, which is why it's still in this shape. I just took it out of the dust bag to show you guys. This is how they have it folded when they sell it to you and they put it in that huge box, which I couldn't bring the boxes anyway because I was just traveling. I was going from Italy to Thailand, so it just made no sense for me to be lugging around all the Louis boxes. But this is how they have it folded. They put it in the dust bag and it all fits so much better. Just folded like this. And as you know, with canvas, it's not going to like stay in that shape. So when you unfold it and all that, it's going to be perfectly fine. You can tell it's brand new. The Vachetta is so beautiful and clear. And I'm going to put that one right there. One day I'll use that one. 
Um, 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 next, I have, I bought this to match the Pochette Matisse. It's the reverse monogram card holder for it. And I literally bought them together because I was like, well, I might as well buy something to match it. And I really like this. I've used it a few times, but I've been so hooked on the other card holder that I haven't given this one enough of a chance. Um, it has a zipper compartment as well. It's just bigger, which is why I feel like I don't get as much use out of it. But I'm so, so happy that I bought it to match the Pochette Matisse. Next, I have, I love this bag. And this is the bag that I want so many more of. I want every season that they come out with a new one, a new style, I want it. It is the Kirigami. No, it does not come with the strap. So it's just three of these. It's this one and then two smaller ones. But what I did was I bought this on Etsy. It's just an insert for it. And then you can buy any straps that you want to connect to it. And I just was really liking this strap. I thought it was so pretty. So I went ahead and put it right on there. You can use it as a clutch, so you kind of just turn this into a little bag. Or sometimes I use it as a pouch and I take all this out of it and I just put it in my bigger bags, which I'll show you next. But I just thought that was such a fun little idea. I've got clutches, so I don't need to do that, but I just, I don't know, it just caught my attention. Next, I have the Neo Noe. And I took out the leather part of this and I put a twilly, not a twilly, a bandeau instead. And the bandeau is also from Louie. And the it has a crossbody strap, which is inside. It fits quite a bit. I have it, like, very well shut. But this is one of the bags that I would use this as a pouch in, since it's very open. For anything that's not inside that little zipper compartment, you can just use the pouch, which is... I usually used to use this the most with this bag. But now I've just been using this on its own as a clutch. And the two smaller parts are here somewhere. Here's one of them. So this one's the medium part that goes in there. And they're each a different color. So the big one is pink. The medium one is red. And then the small one I will pop up somewhere in a minute. Moving right along. We've got... Whoopsies. A wallet. This is the Gian or Jean wallet. This one, it's funny, I never use it. I hardly ever use it to begin with, and it's actually showing signs of wear. Well, it's more like just creasing. So it's not bad. I had it personalized, so it's hot stamped. Um, I just, I don't know. I realize I'm not like a wallet person. Like, I'm a card holder girl. That's just me. So this is, I don't know if I'll sell it. I feel like I should. I might as well, but I feel like because it's got like all the indents and stuff i don't know we'll see i don't regret it because in the moment i really thought i would get more use out of it but i just i did not it is what it is <laughs> next i have the men's disc is this no the let me see this one would be the city bag the men's city bag keep ball if you see me looking down i'm looking at my notes so yeah that's crazy i know i have so much written on there of my items um so it has its own little luggage tag this is such a cute bag it's from the men's collection that's why it's not like the speedy where it has like little top handles since this is like a men's bag it does have this beautiful black strap and then it has right here this little tab so you can connect there so you can see it so you can connect like a round coin pouch or anything you want to it i love this because i feel like i can use the black strap with the multi push out accessoire if i wanted to um, I haven't done that yet because I've, like I said, I've only used a multi push out like once, maybe twice. So I just haven't even, like, I just wore it the way it was. But maybe one day I'll use the strap on there. Or I could use a green strap on this. If that matches, I'll see. But I love this one. I have used this one a few times as well. Right when I saw it, I knew I had to have it. And that's where that went. Don't you love when you find things you've been looking for in your bag? love it okay so yeah this one's a really cute bag also new i bought this in october in italy as well next we've got a scarf i just wore this scarf in chicago it was very cold and cold for me anyway and so this is a nice nice wintry scarf it's not like one of those like very thin like fashion ones like this one's actually to keep you warm i got so many compliments on it and this one was more affordable than a lot of my other scarves which is funny that like 
It's funny, sometimes the ones that cost less just pop out more, but this one, it's just, there's something about it. It's so beautiful and it's so comfortable. Like you put it on and you just feel like you're being hugged. And I wanted this one so bad. I found it in Portugal in the summer and the sales associate looked at me like, well, who asked for a scarf in the summer? And I was like, me. And I was like, do you have it? And she did have it. And I was like, see, this is why I ask in the summer. Because in the winter, it's going to be sold out like always. That one's part of their regular collection. So you can find it in many different colors. My sister went to buy it. And I think in the moment, they had like red, maybe pink or something. So she didn't end up getting it. But anyway, moving on to my very first Louis Vuitton scarf. It is this one. I got this one in Paris in 2016. And my aunt and I went on that trip to Paris together and we both bought matching scarves. And the story behind it was that we were just getting off the plane, just arriving in Paris when we saw a woman with this one, which you know in Paris, like everyone's wearing Louis, everyone, their mothers, their grandmothers. And this woman was wearing this exact one. She had it like very uh, folded, like very neat and short. And it, a lot of it was poking out in the back adorable such a good fashion statement fashion piece and so when we saw it we were like we love it so we went and found it and bought it on one side it's that like shimmery like grayish silverish and on the other side it's more black so you can wear it however you want it's so cute i love this one it's really big so even though it's not as like thick as the other one because you can fold it like a million ways and a million times over it can keep you very much warm i look kind of crazy but this is super cute i love this one it's actually my most expensive scarf too but well worth it sorry i'm losing my voice a little bit this video takes so long to film sorry for the interruption i'm losing my voice anyway my next scarf is this pink linen one absolutely love it it's so cute I've never worn it before. Every time I go on a trip, I end up taking the gray one or the black and silver one. And this one just has not had its moment to shine. But it is super, super cute. And I can't wait till I wear it. So I'm going to try to force my... My camera just turned off. I don't know why. It got tired of hearing me. Anyway, another scarf. This one is from the men's collection. It's not mine. I have two items in here that I have purchased for my husband. So I took them from him and I wanted to show them. This one is the Louis Vuitton scarf for men. It's got like that graphite design. It's a little bit more understated because he does not like logo a lot. So I was like, I wanted to get him something, but he really just doesn't like logos, which is weird for an Italian, but whatever. He's a guy. So I got him this. If you know, you know, but it doesn't say Louis all over the place. I think this is a cute one. Does he wear it? I think he's worn it once in France when it was just really, really cold and he had no choice. <laughs> Next is this wallet. Very, very cute. I also got this one in Italy and he got it hot stamped with his initials. So this one's really cute. I can return that to him now. Okay, next is my most expensive Louis Vuitton. I had held off on getting this bag for so long because of its price. For me, it's super pricey. It is the Petite Mall. Da, 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 da. The beauty. This bag is so adorable. It doesn't fit a lot and it's so pricey. I just could not justify getting it. But I got it last year for Christmas and it's such a beautiful bag. You open it like that. It's just, it's art. And then, voila. There's the strap. And it does fit my phone. There's my phone. And it closed. And my phone has a bulky case on it, so... So no, it does not fit a lot. Yes, at least it has a crossbody strap, but it is stunning. I know a lot of people have the one that's in the monogram with the little red X's, but I got this one and I just absolutely love it. If I could, I would get another one. I probably would get the monogram one, but these are just way too pricey. I mean, goodness gracious, and the price just keeps going up for these, but... The second I ever saw it, I knew I had to have it. And now I'm so, so happy I have a petite mall in my collection. 
tiny little bag, but at least it fits my phone. Okay, I was like, did I leave it in there? Because that'd be so funny if at the end I'm like, which of these bags did I leave my phone in? But okay, gorgeous, gorgeous little bag. Such a beauty. Oh, stunning to look at. Next, I have a backpack. It is my Louis Vuitton Clapton backpack. I love this backpack. I take it a lot to travel. Um, I just love that it's pretty carefree. It fits a lot. It has a back slip pocket and then this large open compartment. Um, it shuts just like that. You can take these off. You can kind of have this part coming out like that instead of like pinched shut. There's like a little magnet. Let me show you. There's magnets right there. And yep, just a great bag. Um, I definitely don't baby this one. I use this one so, so very, very much. And I bought a bandeau right there at Louis when I was there to match it. On the other side, it says Louis. And on this side, it just has all the trunks. It's the trunks bandeau. Clapton backpack. Love, love, love it. I will definitely keep using that one so, so very much. Next, I have the double zip and the monogram. Love that it already had my initials on there. And this one's great. My mom bought this one in the Empreinte. She does not get that much use out of it, so I think she's selling it. But me, I actually was using this one a lot for errands that don't require a lot of things. It has this nice little gold chain that's detachable. I usually tuck it right inside that center compartment when I'm not trying to use the crossbody strap. And then I still find that it fits a lot. So in this one, for example, I can fit my phone. And then in the back compartment, it has like little slots for credit card, credit cards. <laughs> and yeah, can't really go wrong. I, it was not too, too expensive. So I, I like this bag. I'm surprised that my mom's not in love with it. I believe my sister also bought the exact same one and she does, I think also get a lot of use out of it because she's more of a small bag girl. Next, I have an agenda. This is the epi louis vuitton agenda in this like nice little yellow color it's so pretty i don't get that much use out of it i really want the mm this is the pm size and i thought great it'll fit everywhere so let me get that one but big mistake i really need the medium size i write too much too big and it's cute i had it personalized like not personalized but i had um i bought all the inserts on etsy for it like super super cute like look like january's got like that like so adorable and i wish i really used it but nope did not wish i did um every time i've asked if they have an mm agenda they practically laugh in my face i'm like i don't care what canvas it's in just any mm and they're like no so i will keep searching next i have another speedy this one's in a different material so I know you guys are thinking, didn't you sell your Speedy 30? I did. I sp sold my Speedy 30 in the canvas and the monogram, but that's just how life works. I ended up getting this one, which is also the 30 size, but it's totally like foldable. So I was using this one to travel a lot before I got the um, Neverfull because this, it fits so much because it's totally shapeless. It weighs nothing. And yeah, I just found this bag to be so much more practical than the, the 30 in canvas. So this one's the 30 and I think it's called like the mini Lynn or something. But yeah, this one's really, really good for travel. It really just folds into nothing. So if you ever need to like, you know, some airlines, you can only take like one bag. This can fold like into something very easily. And then once you're out, you can just restuff it however you want. So this one I think was actually a pretty good purchase. It does not have a crossbody strap. It only has the top handles. And I know it's all wrinkly, but once it's stuffed and all that, it's fine. So, and I also like that. I feel like I can kind of just like beat that bag up. It's another airport bag. <laughs> Next, we have another purse. This one is the Palace. This is actually a special bag because it's my very first Louis Vuitton. It is the Palace, and I believe it's the MM size. I got this one in Paris, 2016. You can see the Vachetta is starting to get a little more caramelly. And it has two little tabs for the zipper. Opens up, pretty large compartment. I have it stuffed with some just 
the dust bag and other things and I love it. It has those two outside slip pockets. I don't really use this one that much. You know, I think when I saw it, I just, I was so unprepared to buy a bag, but I felt so much peer pressure that I just was like, okay, this one looks good. It's a beautiful bag, but it's just, I'm more of a small bag girl. So I really don't get as much use out of it as I think I could. So I'm going to try to use that one a little bit more. Next, we have the Quasset. I love this one. I think it's great just eye candy. I just like to have it in the back of my videos. And this one is the Damier Azur. I got this one in Paris. I don't use it that often, but there's not like a real reason why. I'm not scared of like color transfer anything because everything usually wipes off easily with the canvas but I just I don't know it's just one of those bags that I definitely don't regret and I just love to look at it has a crossbody strap it has a top handle I just think it's so very very cute but no I don't really get that much use out of it definitely don't regret it and I'm not selling it though like I said I love to look at it next we have my newest bandeau I don't know what bag to put it on yet. I just really wanted to buy a bandeau. So I got this one. They didn't have almost any in Italy in October. I was like, come on. This is, I was on the island, which is why they had very low inventory because the island shuts down uh, around October. And so there's not much tourism. All the stores actually shut down like Louis and all those. So why would they really have more inventory coming in that's just gonna sit there for a few months? So they had, very little so i'm surprised they even bought this much you'd think they had a ton right no they were actually really didn't but i was able to at least get this bandeau and uh yeah let me know which one i should put it on because i'm not I, i'm not sure yet and then there's this more dust bags on there okay next i have the all in mm it's a travel bag i don't really use it it's not as practical. I got this one to not get the key ball and I ended up just getting two key balls instead. So learn from my mistake if you wanna just go for the one you want. I thought I was gonna love this bag. It does come with a luggage tag, which is somewhere around here. Oh, yay, I found it. I had it hot stamped with the Hawaii on there. There you go, beautiful. You take these, so I had it originally with my initials on this side, and then I took it to Hawaii for them to hot stamp it there. You get to pick the color, the size, all that. Love, love, love it. This, I don't know if I'm going to sell it. It was a really good price. I think I bought it in like 2019 in Portugal. Um, I just have it like with a bunch of random things in there, like travel items, dust bag. But I'm not sure. It's just really big, and I guess it's good like a weekend bag. So I don't know. Maybe I won't get rid of it. Next, we have the smallest part of the Kirigami. See, I knew it'd turn up. I usually just keep cash in there. You can keep like business cards in there, cash, whatever you want. Um, coins would fall out because it, it can. I've tested it before. Coins can fall out of there. Sometimes it stays pretty well, but just so you know. So this is the smallest part of the Kirigami. And then my last item, or last three items, I should say. I've got a belt, also from the men's collection. I think this one's fairly cute. Um, it's reversible. I don't know how to do it, but I've never actually have reversed it. I hardly ever wear it. I have so many nice belts that I never wear. This is one of them. I have like a million Fendi belts. I think I have like three or five, something like that, Gucci, and I... I don't know. I literally end up wearing like the cheapest one that I own that's reversible that I think I got for like $10 at Marshalls. I don't know why I'm like that. Anyway, next I have the inserts to the Felici. So I sold my Felici and I ended up keeping the inserts because I like them so much. The Felici just ended up being too small for me. I'm a small bag girl, but small like this size and the pochette Matisse, which is the bag I can't find. My pochette Matisse and the Empreinte, the Marine Rouge is the one I can't find. But anyway, so I sold the Felici, kept the inserts. I think the inserts were just great. Large slip compartment, all these card slots. And then this one is, um, what is it? It's the, I forgot the color, the name of the color. Oh, Amarant. And so it is in the patent leather. So it's cute. I, I actually do use these when I travel. This is usually where I keep like the foreign currency. 
and then my other items would be perfumes i have this one which i don't know where the rest of it is but this is the matier noir you just take the little cap off and it's a nighttime scent um i never use it i kind of regret buying it because it's too nighttimey and it doesn't suit me i bought it in the winter in france and it smelled good at the time and then i came home to the heat of florida and this just does not smell as good on me and i'm like what what was i thinking i don't know but now when i was just in italy i bought this one and it is california dream and it's so much more of a daytime everyday kind of perfume and i like it i think the bottle's cute um so i haven't worn it too too much i do have a lot of perfumes but i'm very very happy with this anyway i think it was still a good purchase and it's only been two months so we'll see how much i wear um the bags that i sold i did write them down it was the felici like i mentioned the speedy 30 in the uh it's the one that's not the bandolier and it's in the regular uh damier ben next was the kaisa card holder it just didn't really i'm a card holder girl but that size just wasn't it for me it was super cute so i was really happy to buy it but i never really used it much so i sold it and one that i was torn selling but i sold it anyway was my capri bag it was so adorable it was white it had large like blue monogram on it it was so pretty it's a capri it was obviously just limited to be sold there but honestly i did actually do pretty good selling it and i just thought it's not as practical as i thought it would be so i feel kind of bad about it because it was so pretty but you know if you're not using it then might as well sell it and i'm not one to sell things often but i was really scared that that one was going to end up changing because it had like plastic on it so uh, it was like pvc or whatever and i was like what if this changes colors and like it was just freaking me out so i just sold it but anyway that wraps up my louis vuitton collection i'm so sorry i never did find my poche at matisse that is literally the bag that started this channel my favorite one of my absolute favorite bags period i will insert some pictures or videos of it here and um yeah so stay tuned i have my other collections to make for next year like gucci valentino anything that you want me to make just let me know let me know which one of these is your favorite and i will catch you all for the next video don't forget to give this a like and subscribe hope you're having a great day everyone bye